Yankees Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a watercolor watermelon. Melon. And um, I've got three drawn out on this sheet of paper, but I'm going to use this middle one that looks like somebody's ate off of. And I've got it traced already on my paper, on my watercolor paper. And this is an Artist Loft from Michaels. Watercolor paper, it's 140 pounds, 3 GMS, it's 6 by 9, and it's cold press, heavyweight. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. And, um, what's my, I'm going to duck this and clean my bow. This is uh, my, my, my water bowls. Oh, some of my water bowls. This one is a blue one I've got. It's an uh, ice cream bowls from a Dollar, uh, Dollar General. I just thought they was cute. And I'm like, they will make cute little water bowls. So, that's how come we got them. But that was like a buck a piece. So, wasn't bad. And um, I am going to use... And I've got a plate, uh, cutting mat as my board, and I'm going to use it as my, oh, help me, help me, help me, help me, folks, um, my palette, <laughs> I'll get it out here in a minute, and, if I can find the paint somewhere, Well, I thought I was ready, but I guess I'm not. I want my... Let's get in. Let me get in. Some cotton. Okay. Dogs, did y'all take off with my paint? Ah, here it is. This is my Winston and Newton um, travel cotton travel um, palette. The thing I don't like about it is on the open. And you can tell I have used it, so just ignore my messes. And I am going to use a number 16 round for this to start off with, and I'll probably go small. But I am just going to go around the edges of my watermelon. And I'm gonna just get the seeds and all. I'll just cover them up with black. Be the easiest. And um, just then I'm gonna go in and drop the red in in just different places. And this is a Linson, uh, Linson, whatever you call it. Y'all know what this stuff is called. Just a red. Just pick which red you own. And this can be done with any palette. Uh, I mean, I was just looking for this palette because I just like this palette, but I like all my palettes. What am I saying? For different reasons. For sure. I'm just going to blend this in. Kind of. and that's a lot of work. And like I said, I'm may not even use a palette. Okay. I'll take that back. I am going to use if I can find it. I am going to use some green that I have pre-mixed. Um, the, the ultramarine blue and the yellow. Well, you know, i just do that. The medium yellow or whatever they call this yellow does 
That's fine with greens. Oh man. And don't terminate your yellows. Guys. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't thinking is the issue. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I'm going in and I'm going to do this. And I'm still using my number 16, guys. And it is holding water crazy. I mean, usually you want it to hold water. Right now, I don't want it. And I am just going up and brushing up towards the top of the watermelon with this. Because, I mean, think about it. The rinds ain't really green. I mean, they like a mint green. Okay. Now I'm going back in. I'm going to use this Zap. I think it's Zap Green. I think it's about the same color as that. And I'm just going in. Because that's wet. You know, watermelon does sound good. Good old cold, ice cold watermelon does sound good. I ain't had one in. Oh, goodness. I can't even tell you the last time I ate a watermelon. I don't think I've had one since my weight loss surgery. And that's been three, going on three years in September. Because I'm, I'm just scared to what it's going to do to my system. Okay, now I'm going into it with a smaller round. I mean, this is just too big. Now I'm going back in with this zap green. And I'm going to just outline this red. I mean, this green, this red. I'm 
I am using it like a number six, very fine point. Okay, now I'm going trying to blend this out. So. And I'm just going, I just went in and just kind of got a little bit of green, of the zap green on my brush. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the zap green that comes with the cotton. I like the zap green. I mean, this is the color green I, try, I mix nearly. seen a watermelon on the run. Well, I don't eat healthy. I just want to tell you that. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit, hit, hit hit this. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk today. <coughs> With the hair drawing. Or as I call it, the It's my hairbrush slash whatever you want to call it. And I am going I don't think any black in this. No. Okay, I am going to use my ink tense black. And it's like what they call it, ink black. I'm just going to spread some out right here. To go in and paint my seeds. And that's all it is. I'm signing my name because I do like it. If I didn't like it, I don't put my name on it because I didn't. I didn't make it. And I always put the date because ten years from now I will go back and see how much better I got or more sure I got. You know. And I mean, I'm making a mess. Hang on. Uh, I got stuff that I done when I first started painting. Matter of fact, I got one on my wall. You can't see it because it's junk. It's hauled up in front of it. But, uh, was my very first painting. Watercolor painting. And, on my lens. To go back and look at, look at it now, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I thought that was great, you know. I was I was pr I, I was proud of it because that was the first thing I ever painted in watercolor, and uh, I I've, I've got it on my craft room wall because I can 
can see the improvements I have made over the years. Uh, and that was like in 2005. It was after David was born in 2001. So, yeah, so, you know, it's good to go back and look at your aunt 10, 15, 20 years later. I hope you enjoy this little water uh, melon uh, tutorial. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to us and have a blessed day. Bye.